I was a fan going to Monaco, I think there's things that you should try and do while you're there. Um, go and try and see the Principality, which is beautiful um, on the top of the on the top of the hill. Check out the casino. Casino Square is amazing. Um, it's got some great shops there as well. You definitely got to go and walk around the track, or at least like take a bike or a car around the circuit. You got to go down to the beach. Um, what else is great there? I mean, just so, there's so much, so much beauty to be seen around Monaco. It's such a beautiful place. I, right now, I can't imagine living anywhere else. It's just, just uh, it's quite a magical place. And obviously now the summer's starting to turn out, so it's even more spectacular. It's a really small place, so you can pretty much get around anywhere. And in terms of, oh yeah, there's a great ice cream store in turn, at turn one. There's a small church to the left. And then just to the left of that, behind the bus stop, there's the best ice cream spot in the world. Um, for me, it's the best ice cream you're ever gonna have. It's gelato, so it's Italian. And I, it's hard to not stop there every time I go. I would definitely recommend everyone to see one day Monaco Grand Prix. Hopefully for you, it's gonna be this year. Um, it's a good place, I personally enjoy it. Normally the weather is good, but there's plenty of other things to do as well than just the racetrack, for sure. First thing is to see the race cars live Racing in the streets of Monaco is really unique, you know, in such a high speed, in such a narrow track, it is uh, very special and, and you need to see it. A lot of good training opportunities if you like sports, plenty of good roads for cycling, mountain biking over the mountains just behind Monaco, um, plenty of good restaurants. Um, Italy and France borders are really a few kilometers away, so you can choose French food or Italian food, so perfect.